For many, Tyron Matthews' words are a broken record. His critics have heard he's a changed man over and over again. The former LSU star understands this. As he prepares for a series of all-important NFL job interviews, though, Matthew is clear on what his message is. First of all, you know, I want them to be able to trust me. I'm definitely holding myself accountable for what I've done. You know, I take full responsibility for it. My best friend right now is honesty. You know, I want to be as open as possible because I'm trying to, re I'm trying to rebuild my trust. Honesty, certainly the best policy for Matthew, who has lots of catching up to do in the credibility department leading up to draft day. He knows despite all of his athletic gifts, the NFL still has questions about his game on the field as well. They pretty much know everything, and um, it's not too much about the off the field. You know, it's more about, you know, the on the field and, you know, do I still have it? And, you know, am I capable of, you know, being a big time player that I was at LSU? At the recent combine, Matthew knew he had to improve his image. But once he makes it to the NFL, he feels he'll give the league a game it hasn't seen before. I don't truly compare myself to, you know, any guys in the NFL right now. You know, I, I, think, I, I think I have a different kind of game. The confidence is there, and so is the swagger. But Matthew claims to have left behind his troubles along with his Honey Badger nickname. A lot of people haven't, but that's okay because I'm tiring right now. You know, and, uh, if the Honey Badger sticks, it sticks. But right now, you know, I'm focused on being tired Matthew. So we'll put the Honey Badger marketing possibilities on hold for now. But what about all the millions that he's lost in draft dollars? I'm not focused on money right now. You know, I just want to start playing football again because my whole life I played it for free. So, you know, to play it for a couple hundred thousand dollars, I mean, it's, it's still football to me. A price to pay for a whirlwind year where Matthew admits his first rehab stint was hype driven, but after his October arrest, it was for himself. I thought my bottom was when I got kicked out of school, but you know, I think when I got arrested in October, you know, that was a different bottom. So, um, you know, I decided to go to a rehab and, you know, but at this time, you know, the rehab was for Tyron. You know, I just wasn't going to it for publicity uh, because my school told me to go. You know, I actually wanted to get my problem corrected. So a better man and maybe a better player. An NFL future awaits for Tyron Matthew, who is ready to run far, far away from his past. In Indianapolis, Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.